Welcome everyone to our video tutorial for requesting a temporary digital library card through the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. Now we are filming this through Zoom, doing a screen share. You do not need Zoom to access our library card application. We're just doing this as our sharing platform. So our first step to apply for a temporary digital library card that lets you access all of our online materials is to go to the Alexander Hamilton Library homepage, which is ahmfl.org, which stands for Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. So you can see in our video that we are already on the homepage. This is what it looks like. It has lots of great information and we have new book releases. We also have a slider that has lots of pictures and upcoming at special events or information. Now I'm going to draw your attention to our menu across the top. We have our tab to do to check out online programs that we're offering. Um, we also have our databases and free resources that you can check out. We have our catalogs and eBooks. This is where you can access things like Hoopla and Overdrive, which has all of our eBooks and audiobooks. We also have our interest group websites for adults, teens, children. But I'm going to direct you down here to the end where we have request a card. So to request your digital library card, you can go ahead and click on here. That will bring up a second tab that is through our Spark system where you can put in your information to apply for a library card. So our first step you can see is we have our home library. At the top we have Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to fill in your information. So you're going to fill in your information here even if you already have a card, we do have some patrons that their cards might be expired. All right, it will be fine to type in your information even if it's the same as another account. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type Alexander. So I'm making a dummy account for our tutorial. So I'll put in my name is Alexander Hamilton. We'll do the library's address. Please put in your own address. We'll do Waynesboro, and then our county is 172, oh, sorry, is Franklin with our zip code 17268. You can put in your date of birth. Um, I will put in a random date. We do collect this information just to use for demographics for our statistics. If you're not comfortable with that, you do not have to put your date of birth. We do ask, however, that you include a phone number. So I'm going to use the library's phone number. And we do ask that you use an email address. So I'm going to use one of our email addresses that you can contact through the library if you need any help. All right, this is our staff email and you're welcome to contact that. Again, if you have any questions and you need to email us, that will be in the comments or in the description. So you can also put a requested username if you would like, but we have all of our necessary information. Again, please make sure that we have your phone number and your email address. These are very important because we actually use your phone number to um, help create your password. So typically for your library card, the last four digits of your phone number are going to be the password. And then we're actually going to contact you by email, one of our staff members, once we receive this application. So we'll go ahead and submit our registration. Once we receive that on the staff end, a librarian will be emailing you. So this says that your card will be mailed to you. That's actually with the system and using physical cards, but since we're adapting and everyone is figuring out ways to do things exclusively online, we're doing the same where a librarian will actually contact you and they will give you your new library, code, library barcode and your password. So again, that's why putting your phone number and your email address is very important when you're making your card. So again, you can find all of this and you can contact us through our webpage. So again, find it at ahmfl.org, request a card, and then put in your information and you should hear from us within a day or two. 
thanks everyone for watching the tutorial. We hope that if you have any questions, you don't hesitate to contact us. We are ready to help. All right, stay safe everyone, and we hope that you have a great day and enjoy some good reading. All right. Bye everyone.